doing, Dr. Stabbers here, and I am here to do another review. Well, actually, I'm going to do two reviews. Let me ask you a question. This is for Generation Gaps. Do any of you know what this is? You know, what that is right there? Anybody? You know what this is? Well, it's called a VHS. Back in our times, we used to go and watch movies on little plastic strips here. Yeah. I mean, it, the technology was good and everything, you know. It had good qualities and whatnot. And, and you know what? Screw it. What we're going to review is VHS. Okay, here's the deal. We've got to break into this house, and all we have to do is steal this one VHS tape. Got it? Yeah. Which one is it? I don't know, man. Let's just look at these tapes, okay? Yeah. This, I had to say, was a very interesting movie. And I can see where they were going with it. They did a very good job. I actually had to say I was surprised by it. To go and explain what it is, is basically what you're doing. You're watching a video. Well, unlike what you're doing now, you what they are doing are watching supernatural videos. You know, just random weirdness to it. As a lot of people know, the whole supernatural is an interesting basis that they think that you could capture ghosts and audios of ghosts and things like that on video and also on audio yeah so anyway bunch of punks face it they're punks decide to break into a house thinking they're gonna go and steal a bunch of VHS is it's gonna make them a lot of money how I have no freaking clue but anyway they start watching these videos and then people start disappearing and it just gets really weird but after you start watching it more, you start realizing exactly what the hell you're watching. Then you start going, okay, this is starting to get pretty good. You're starting to understand it. You're starting to know what the heck they're talking about, what's going on. And then it's just the most weirdest thing. It's just like that. It's over. Yeah. So, yeah. I really don't know much about what I can say about the VHS movie. It's just, it was a good movie. Not bad, you know. Good effects. And... Well, there is one small complaint. The small complaint is this. Dirty camera work. After a while, it gets very tiresome. As you are sitting there trying to see what the hell you're watching, it's just a lot of... Yeah. That, that, that gets annoying really fast. So, yeah, dirty camera works. That's basically what it is. For those who don't know what dirty camera work is, it's basically what I just showed you. It's just guys who are running around, not very professional looking, it just, you know, yeah. So, yeah. VHS, the first one. I had to say, I would give it about a B. A B. A good, strong B. Because it was a very good movie. Um, the effects were okay, like I said. The audio was... Okay, so yeah, VHS. I definitely go and recommend some people go and watch it. You know, just be prepared for from very disturbing, disgusting, bloody stuff. Yeah. So that's it for VHS. VHS two.
an interesting movie. <laughs> okay. Unlike the first one, where you're basically watching the film of these guys who are watching films and it just being very greedy and very dirty, this one actually came out a little bit more clear, sharper, and a lot more graphic events. It's the best way to describe it. I give this one a B plus because the effects were crazy on it. It was pretty good. It had some interesting point of views, which you would sit there and thinking, huh, how would you ever thought of something like that? The only one thing I had to go and say I did not like about it, it was the ending video of the ending. That I kind of didn't like that much. I'm an animal lover, okay? You know, it, I just love animals. And with this particular scene, I did not really like it that much. But I can see where they were going with it and everything, so... Yeah. But VHS 2, it, like I said, it's a lot cleaner, it's a lot sharper, it's a lot more neat. It had a lot more interesting story to it. I mean, even the short stories of the stories were pretty good. And it, it just... I liked it. I liked it. Even as gruesome and depressing and scary looking and nasty. and Even though there's that one scene I don't like. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I still like the movie. It was a good movie. So... Yeah. VHS and VHS 2. I liked them. They were good. You know, it's one of those campy type movies. It's much like... How should I explain this? Almost like the ABCs of death, but... Not in any alphabetical orders and stuff like that, but just short clips is basically the best way to go and describe it. And what it does to people. So, yeah, actually, I, like I said, I like them. I like them. They were, they were good. Um, I recommend you probably go out and rent them. You know, I very rarely tell people to go out and actually spend money to rent these things. And I heard there's coming up with a part three. This one I am kind of wondering if it's going to be better than part two. Because, oddly enough, part one was okay. Part 2 was a lot better. I'm hoping Part 3 comes out a lot better. I mean, it's very rare that sequels are better than the first. I mean, it's, like I said, it's just very rare. Even with, like, Terminator. Terminator 2, that came out, like, brilliant. As much as I like Terminator, I like Terminator 2 a whole lot better. Not just because of the visual effects and stuff, but it's just, a very, it's just more of a masterpiece is the best way to describe it. So, anyway, that is the review for VHS, VHS 2, and hopefully I will come up with a review for the VHS 3. That should be interesting. Like I said, part 1 was okay. Part 2, a lot better. Maybe part 3 will be the best. Anyway, that's the review. Y'all take it easy now. Just this once, just for you, then never again. I finally found a way out. They pull me back into black sand. Emphatic impressions, comparable to happenings. The galaxies collapsing in. The CT, pull the priest through the shakedown. I twist the cord around your neck for the breakdown. I can see your faith now. Would you want a safe path? I don't want to kill you, I'm just shooting from the waist down.